next paid invoice number leave it one as it is and next late fee type do you want to charge a late fee if your client is not paying on time I don't want to put some more stress on clients if it's good if they already become our clients so don't put late fees so I wouldn't recommend you to use late fees on your clients so I'm gonna just leave it as it is okay um, since I'm not gonna use it so this whole part here mm, this whole part here here late fee type, late fee amount, how much you want to charge or late fee minimum you can set that if you want to put or charge late fee to your clients but I wouldn't recommend that as I said before so here what I'm doing for myself I'm not gonna change that so I'm gonna just even remove this one make it zero no late fees okay okay next so what is it memo? It memo is uh, for giving a power to restaurant or um, you know diners and stuff like that businesses that has to do with food and beverages to convert their mobile phone their their cellular phone to be a powerful customer customer on demand tool so it's gonna help restaurants all over the world starting from the United States and Canada so it's gonna be really big and really cool and you my friend are gonna be a part of it memo I'm gonna show you and you can be a part of it for free okay later not now I'm gonna show you to you later so um, next accepted credit card types this one here so if you're using PayPal you pretty much can accept every type of cards so just choose everything here oops sorry about that I kept, I kept doing that so yeah 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 I don't know about en route I'm gonna I'm gonna unselect that right what is en route um, the rest is should be good with PayPal because we're gonna use PayPal for this demo or for for my company okay so let's move forward to the next part issue number or start date tick to show these fields for credit card payments uh, don't confuse or don't ask too much questions by asking the start date of the credit card or the issue number of your credit card it just make people to do too much for you okay just leave it so don't ask additional questions just have them provide their card numbers the expiry date and the name on the card that'll be enough if you're using a merchant account but since we're using PayPal this doesn't even matter so okay okay so the last part uh, just let's let's just combine these two okay so invoice incrementation just one or if you want to change that you can change two for example if you're starting a new business and maybe you just don't want people to know you're just starting and they're the first client <laughs> you're getting that's pretty embarrassing don't you think so if you want to change that it's up to you um, for example I'm gonna switch here I'm gonna set my invoice to like um, 17 increment okay and start the number like 1000 so if I do this see if I do this do this my first invoice will be like this eat memo dash right 1017 the next one it will be eat memo dash 1034 eat memo dash 
1034 plus 17 what what is that 51 <laughs> yeah 51 I think and then that's that so if you keep one and then info is starting from one so the first client you will have have will have um, invoice number one and then two and then three so it doesn't look really good yes you, you can change that like I'm going to change that to 17 and 1000 so it's up to you okay so after that as I always said don't forget to save changes okay let's do that and save changes that's it okay so that's on invoices let's gonna let's move forward to the next one which is credit here and I'm gonna skip this into the next video so it's not gonna take too long thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next part which is credit